of ice there by Dia Congo. Almost duly punished. Atobra gets the that he didn't last. Because then at the end of the game it was one all. Then it was two. Him and a straight to the goalkeeper. Atobra. Number 10 has come in for Ghana. Number 10 has come in for Dia Congo. Uh, which 10 will unlock the defense of their respective opponent? Atobra leads at the moment and we're looking for the opening goal. Nice one too for Ghana. Can he unlock the defense? Yahaya goes in, gets the ball now to Atobra. Goal scored in the quarterfinals of this tournament. And uh, in all the matches that we've seen so far, both teams have scored in their matches. In the first three matches that have been played. It was 2-1 to Zimbabwe in the attire against Mali. It was Nigeria that won by four goals to three in a game that went to extra time. One all draw was... Be and this will be their second victory over Dia Congo in this tournament. In the three meet... The defender, I'd say. One of those players who really can cause problems. Good news... Uh is that he's back on his feet. The bad news is that he's to think whether or not he's perhaps been concussed. He's effectively headbutting the ground there as Yaya Mohamed looks to turn. The top. Kufo. Opportunity for Ghana perhaps down the near side flank. And yeah, it's, it's a deflected effort, not the worst shot either from uh, Atobarag. Got himself into uh, a decent position. Don't think he'd take a shot. Send this ball back into Nigerian territory here. With that gun inside. Atubra. Free kick Ghana. Vieira. They made use of it, and the answer is almost certainly no. Can they do so now? Yaya Mohamed needed a quick turn, couldn't finish it off. Bright Semi, enough time in it to come back and dispossess Mohamed before he was able to turn and successfully find a shot in full song. As they hope to inspire this Nigerian side to go. Matches to date, one of the Nigerian players is down. I think it might. At the moment, just want to keep his ball away from the 18-yard area. Neither one of these sides wants to see position in their danger area. Got to find a way through. Deflected effort. Corner it'll be. Nigeria now needs to defend. Ghana looking to hit back when they can. Seem two, two meters tall. Giant of a man who marshals this Nigerian defense. Maintain possession. Counter attack could be on here for Ghana. He's got the pace and he's not afraid to use it. Abraham Atubra out on the far side. Can he get the square ball in? It's 10 man Ghana. of the situation that have been handed to them but that kick now sends Ghana into the final for the second time in three editions in the inaugural edition while they made the final Ghana found themselves losing out to the Democratic Republic of Congo for the first title
But this Ghanaian side will fight, will battle, will struggle as they play for gold against Libya. And quite remarkably, one of them at home in 82. Just a little pop over the top. Tijani inside the area. Atobra looking for a way through. Ghana have men. Anuba. Atobra. Tijani waits for possession on the near side. Atobra. Pushing forward. Upoku. Oh, look at the touches from Upoku. This guy in part. Atobra tries a shot that's just flaked off the side of the boots and beaten in open play. In this tournament, the uh, only goal that snuck past him was Faisal uh, Ali Saleh's penalty in the group stage encounter between these sides. Uh, so he's feeding instructions to the man coming on. He wants to score goals. Yaya Mohammed is a goal bound strike, comes in from Atobra, but really not testing the goalkeeper at all. Mashnoush down very quickly. Long way out, and not exactly a fearsome victory. Again, promising movements for Ghana. And can unwittingly played it back towards his own goal. Now Atobra, he's got pace. Back inside of Balwani and free kick to Ghana. Atobra cut back inside. 